everyone and welcome to Fletcher Farms Amarillo. I'm Julie Fletcher. Apparently Anna wants to be a part of this video today and wants to help make our big announcement. Um, we are rescuing more Belgian draft horses from shipping to slaughter. So what had happened was the reason we hadn't rescued more horses uh, recently is because we didn't have space in our barn or an area to feed the horses in. So we came up with a solution for that by adding some more gates in our run area. So that gave us a an additional space to go ahead and rescue some more horses. Um, obviously we have room in our barn so if there's ever a storm or heat or cold or anything like that we can bring them inside the barn and there's no issues but we have a lot of issues when it's feeding time because everyone gets kicky and wants to make sure that they get their food um, and doesn't want somebody else to take theirs so our biggest problem was finding an area for feeding spaces so we got that all figured out and taken care of and now we have some extra space so we are going to be rescuing some more horses so while Corey was going to pick up new girl from Wisconsin. I came across a post of a horse from Bowie, Texas Livestock, who was a registered Belgian stud. Um, his name is Produce Acres Corbin. He was a sire to 54 horses in his lifetime. Uh, he's 14 years old and was dumped at a kill pen. Uh, I thought I had seen everything and I know quarter horses that have papers get dumped all the time at the livestock yard, but I've never seen a registered Belgian draft horse at the livestock yard. And I just didn't want him to go to slaughter. There was, there was no way. And second, he actually looked exactly like Finn from what his pictures were. If you don't know who Finn is, Finn passed away a few weeks ago from colic. Um, we were completely devastated by the loss of Finn. And uh, this is his picture side by side with Finn. He looks so much like Finn. Finn's livestock yard picture is on the left and the new guy's picture is on the right. This is also his video from the livestock yard. We have lot number 1005. This is going to be a registered Sorrel Belgian stud. Stands at 18 hands and a 2009 model. Talk about a cool dude right here. Now he's been uh, primarily used for breeding and driving, not riding. Um, I'm gonna call out his papers, so they're coming in the mail. And um, I have a just a picture of him on my phone right now. Registered in the Belgian Draft Horse Corporation, registered name, Produce Acres Corbin. Foal of June 1st, 2009. His sire is gonna be Maple Lawn Scott's Dream, who's by Remlap Scott. And he is out of Produce Acres Caitlin, who's by Orndoff's U2 Charlie. So very, very nice stud right here. He's extremely quiet, he's extremely gentle easy to get along with like i said his horse is primarily being used for driving working he's produced a lot of coals and i'm just going to let him jog free up and down. You can see him move out. He's going to be a little bit club footed on the back left. Other than that, super, super nice horse. Uh, they were getting some new studs in. They decided to sell them. But I guarantee if you put him towards a mare, he will work. You should be able to get a pretty darn good baby out of him. Very darn clean legged, not showing any issues that way. As I said, he is a small bit club foot on the back left. Once again, nice, nice horse right here. He's with BowieTexasLivestock.com. He is quiet, he is gentle. We don't get many registered Belgian studs in. This is probably one of the first ones I believe that we actually got in. So, as I said, lots of good babes on the ground with them. And uh, if you're interested in him, he is with BowieTexasLivestock.com. You click Odwire Horses, 
you'll see him listed on there. So after we decided to rescue him, a couple days later, a group of six Belgian draft horses came into Bowie, Texas livestock along with some Percherons. The Percherons were rescued and two of the Belgian draft horses out of the six were rescued as well. Corey and I decided, along with the board members, that we were going to rescue two of them. Uh, we rescued lot number 1035 and 1037, and these are their videos. We have lot number 1035. This is going to be a Sorrel Belgian gelding. It stands at 17.1 and is 16 years old. Pretty cool horse right here. He's big and he's shaky. Horse once again came in with that big group of Belgian horses that we had. He's stout, he's pretty, he's clean legged, he needs a good trim up for sure. Now, this horse uh, has been used by the Amish, he's been used on the farm, he's been used on the road, and in the field. out very very well very clean legged that's a good horse you can take him home hook him up and you can put him back to work here pretty darn quickly now if you're interested in him that horse does ride a little bit as you can see but that's not what he's been doing all his life he's been used as a workhorse Big kind horse, a little out of sorts. He's been used to the farm. He's not used to so much commotion that we have got going on around here. Now, once again, if you're interested in helping him out, he's with BowieTexasLivestock.com. You click Go to Our Horses, you'll see him listed on there. The trans we have lot number 1037. This is going to be a Sorrel Belgian mare. Stands at 17, 2, and 19 years old. Big stout mare again. Does need a little bit of cover across the top of the back and the ribs. A little bit of feed wouldn't hurt. So this be another driving mare, mostly used all her life for driving. Last five, six years, they said they did get babies off of her. And as you can see, she's gonna be a little lighter in the body. She needs just a little bit of extra feed. It'll go a long way with her. She's clean-legged. All of these uh, Belgians and Percherons came off of one farm. They've been pretty darn well taken care of. No leg issues or anything like that, really. And uh, if you want to put her back to work, she will be good to go back to work still. She's got plenty of life left in her. Her tag number is 1037. She's with BowieTexasLivestock.com. You click go to wire horses, you'll see her listed on there. And then a few days had passed by and lot number uh, 1039 and 1040 were still at the livestock yard and no one had rescued them and their ship date was just a few days away. There was no way that I was gonna let these two horses that were came in with a group go to slaughter. So we decided to go ahead and rescue the other two that were still there um, and these are their videos. We have lot number 1039. This is going to be a Sorrel Belgian gelding. Stands at 18 hands and is 18 years of age. workhorse yet again he's big and he's shapey he's hardly been ridden a couple of days in his life a bit he is a driving and working horse he's clean legged and he's a big big boy right here if you want to hook him up to a wagon i guarantee you he'll be pulling something for you now he's a little bit tight in the back end he kind of moves a little bit sore and that's the way he's going to be he's been a workhorse all his life 
but he's big and he's pretty and he's shapey. Once again, came in on this big group of uh, Belgians and Percherons. There are probably about 10 or 12 total. And uh, all have been very well taken care of. And for their ages, on most of them, their late teens, like this guy right here, they look pretty darn good. in that horse right there. Guarantee you he'll do a good taxi uh, business for you. If you want to use some of these horses for taxi in the city, I guarantee you they'll make you money and they'll do pretty darn good. They've been used by the Amish. They've been worked in the harness. They've been used on the farms. So if you're interested in him and need the price, go to our website, BowieTexasLivestock.com. We have lot number 1040. This is going to be a Sorrel Belgian gelding. Stands at 18 hands and is 14 years old. Belgians that came in. We had several Belgians, several Pertron that came in, about 10 or 12 total. This is the last of them right here. It's the only one that had touched milk leg to the back left, and that's the way it is. They still used them, still worked them, but they were selling out a lot of their stock, and these are the ones that they sent us. Now, he's a big, quiet boy. He's gentle. He hasn't done much riding. Mostly worked under the wagon, and uh, all these horses, as you can see, pretty darn good shape. They're big, they're fat, and as I said, this is the only one that came in with an issue on the leg, but they said that he works away and he doesn't give him much issue, so you can see the size of that horse right there. He'll weigh a ton now. Now, if you're interested in him and need his prize, go to our website, Bowie Texas Livestock. Back go to our horses, you'll see, and several others listed on there. So watching all these Belgian draft horse videos on Bowie Texas Livestock's website, I came across another one that was a donkey. And this was the sweetest donkey that I probably have ever seen. I couldn't believe how sweet she was. And she ended up on the uh, ship to slaughter list. She was on the last call list. And there was no way that I would let this little girl who is pregnant go to slaughter. This was her video. We have lot number 1042. This is going to be a gray Jenny donkey. She'll be a standard and an eight year old. So they call this one blue. We had three of these donkeys that came in, uh, all really, really heavy, heavy bred. They called her blue. She's big and quiet and super, super gentle. They said she's just a big old pet, very heavy bred. They said they had a good uh, mammoth type jack covering all these jennies. And uh, I guarantee you, you'll have a darn good baby from this one. So, Blue is with BowieTexasLivestock.com. If you're interested in her, you need her price, go to our website, BowieTexasLivestock.com. Click Oda Wire Horses, you'll see her listed on there. Her tag number is 1042. She is going to be safe and gentle. She's just a big, big pet right here. And I guarantee you, once she has her baby, she'll do a darn good job. Once again, tag 1042 if you need So time. we decided to rescue the donkey as well. Um, I'm pretty sure the board and my husband are going to all uh, kill me. <laughs> they said I'm not allowed to rescue any more horses or donkeys. So we've rescued six horses and a donkey over the last 
a uh, couple weeks now. So our plan is to go pick up um, Produce Acres Corbin a uh, lot uh, 1035 and 1037 this week. We're going to finish up the barn and then we're going to go pick up 1039, 1040 and the donkey. So we've got lots coming up. Uh, we are doing an emergency fundraiser. Um, I'm going to put all the details on our website at thebighoofffoundation.org. If you'd like to make a tax deductible donation to help us out with the bail, uh, transport, uh, boarding for a couple days that they have to stay there until we can pick them up. Um, medical bills. Um, the one thing that I'm sure is going to be controversial and some people aren't going to agree with. But the uh, registered Belgian stud, we are going to go ahead and get him gelded. I did consult with Dr. Wagner and talk to her um, about what she thinks the best course of action is. Since he is 14 years old, the surgery is going to be a little bit more detailed. Um, and a little bit more complicated since he is 14. Um, it's not like gelding, um, you know, a younger horse. So um, she said there is a little bit more involved. So that surgery is probably going to be probably close to $1,200. So all the details of this fundraiser are going to be in there. The cost of the medical bills and the cost of his surgery are all included in there. So um, I won't bore you on this video <laughs> with all the details of that, but we are doing a fundraiser and it's going to be at thebighooffoundation.org. So head over there and check it out. If you can support us, we truly appreciate it. And we truly appreciate everything that you guys have done for us and supporting our rescue mission and supporting us with feed and everything else that you've done. We really can't do this without you. And we really, we really appreciate all of your support and generosity. So um, stay tuned. I will get a video out uh, later this week after we go pick up the first three um, and get them back here to the farm and it's going to be an exciting time we're really excited to meet all these horses and um, get to share their life with you and their retirement journey here on our farm at Fletcher Farms Amarillo and the Big Hoof Foundation so stay tuned and we'll keep you posted on everything and again thank you all so much for your support we do truly appreciate it we'll see you soon thanks bye